Now, have you ever wondered how an economic depression can sway the course of your personal life? Let's unravel this enigma together. At its core, an economic depression is a severe and prolonged downturn in the economy. Think of it as an unwelcome guest who overstays its welcome, leaving a path of destruction in its wake. But where does this chaos come from? It's like a domino effect. One domino falls, triggering a chain reaction. This could be a massive stock market crash, a housing bubble bursting, or a sudden surge in unemployment rates. The roots of economic depression are varied and complex, often intertwined with political, social and financial factors. Now imagine this, oh, you're on a roller coaster and suddenly the ride takes a steep dive. That's what happens in an economic depression. The entire economy goes on this wild ride, not just for a few months, but years. It's a cyclical phenomenon, a part of the economic life cycle, much like the changing seasons but unlike the beautiful autumn leaves or the gentle spring breeze, this season brings about a harsh winter that freezes everything in its path. So, what's the impact? Well, when the economy sneezes, we all catch a cold. Economic depression doesn't just affect the big corporations or the government, it trickles down to every individual, every family, influencing their consumption, their decisions and ultimately their lives. And how do we adapt? We change our lifestyle, our spending habits, we tighten our belts and brace ourselves weathering the storm. It's like learning to dance in the rain while waiting for the sun to shine again. But fear not, it's not all doom and gloom. Governments step in, trying to control the situation, reshuffling the country's spending priorities. They become the conductors, directing the orchestra to play a different tune, hoping to bring back harmony in the economy. So, as we've seen, economic depression is not just a macroeconomic concept, it's a real-life monster that can knock on anyone's door. Now imagine a giant wave crashing onto the beach of your personal life. That's economic depression for you. Economic depression, you see, is more than just a term thrown around in financial newsrooms or mentioned in hushed tones by Wall Street analysts. It's a phenomenon that can touch every aspect of our personal lives, from the meals we prepare for our families to the clothes we put on our backs. Picture this, you're at your local supermarket and you notice that the price of your favorite bread has risen. You shrug it off thinking it's just a minor inconvenience, but then the price of milk goes up, then eggs, then vegetables. Soon you're adjusting your grocery list, opting for cheaper alternatives or even reducing the quantity of food you buy. And it doesn't stop at the dinner table, your wardrobe starts to change. Those designer jeans, they're replaced by more affordable brands. The seasonal wardrobe refresh, it becomes a luxury that's hard to justify. Even our entertainment choices aren't immune. Instead of a night out at the cinema or a fancy restaurant, it's a quiet evening at home with a home-cooked meal and a movie on the telly. But it's not all doom and gloom. Some changes can be positive. People may start growing their own food or cycling to work instead of driving. We might find ourselves spending more time with family or discovering new hobbies that don't break the bank. Yet it's important to remember that these changes aren't just about saving pennies. They're about adapting to a new economic reality, one where the rules of the game have changed. When economic depression hits, it doesn't discriminate. It affects everyone from the high-powered executive in the city to the small-town farmer. It's a ripple that starts at the heart of our economy and spreads outwards, touching every corner of our lives. So the next time you hear the term economic depression, remember that it's more than just a financial concept. It's a tidal wave that can alter the landscape of our daily existence. As we can see, economic depression doesn't just affect Wall Street, it trickles down to every household, changing our daily lives in ways we can't always predict. When economic depression strikes, who are you going to call? The government. Yes, our knight in shining armor, or perhaps the villain in disguise, is none other than the government. In the face of an economic depression, the government is often seen as the savior. Their role, in theory, is simple. Manage the country's spending priorities to control and resolve the economic downturn. They might increase spending in key areas to stimulate the economy or cut back in others to save resources. They may even create jobs or provide financial aid to struggling families. All of these actions are designed to kick-start the economy and return it to a state of equilibrium. But here's the catch. Every action has a reaction and sometimes it's not what you'd expect. Picture this. The government decides to pour money into infrastructure projects, creating jobs and stimulating the economy. They're hailed as heroes, right? Well, not so fast. 
This increased spending has to come from somewhere. It may lead to increased taxes or even worse, increased national debt. Suddenly, our knight in shining armor doesn't look so shiny. Furthermore, these actions can lead to a host of unintended consequences. For example, an influx of government jobs might discourage entrepreneurship or innovation. Increased taxes might burden businesses and discourage economic growth. And let's not forget the potential for corruption and mismanagement when large sums of money are involved. So, while the government's role in managing an economic depression is crucial, it's far from straightforward. Every decision they make has far-reaching implications, and the path to economic stability is fraught with potential pitfalls. It's a delicate balancing act, one that requires careful planning, strategic thinking, and a deep understanding of the economic landscape. So the government's role in an economic depression is a double-edged sword. It can either save the day or exacerbate the situation. Just remember, when economic depression strikes, who are you going to call? Choose wisely. When life gives you economic depression, it's time to pack your bags. And it's not just about packing your favorite pair of socks or your cherished family photos. It's about packing up your whole life, leaving behind the familiar and venturing into the unknown. When the dark clouds of economic depression gather, people naturally seek shelter. They look for places where the economic storm is less severe, where opportunities are still plentiful or at least less scarce. This mass movement of people, this migration, isn't just a change of address. It's a seismic shift that ripples across societies, economies and landscapes. Think of it as a giant game of musical chairs, but instead of chairs, we're talking about jobs, and instead of music, we're talking about economic cycles. When the economy slows down, the music stops, and people scramble to find a chair. Those who are left standing, they're the ones who pack their bags. They move from areas hit hard by economic depression to areas where the music is still playing, where the economy is still humming. But what does this mean for the regions left behind? The effects can be profound. The departure of skilled workers can lead to a brain drain, leaving these areas struggling to recover. On the flip side, the regions that attract these migrants can benefit from an influx of talent and a boost to their economies. Yet migration is not just about economics, it's about people, their lives, their dreams, their struggles. It's about families uprooted, communities reshaped and cultures blended. It's about the resilience of the human spirit, the will to survive and the hope for a better tomorrow. And what about the migrants themselves? They face the daunting challenge of starting anew, of building lives in unfamiliar places among unfamiliar faces, but they do it. They do it because they must. They do it because in the face of economic depression, they choose hope over despair. They choose the future over the past. Indeed, economic depression can turn homes into memories and force us into journeys we never planned. But remember, every journey, no matter how arduous, is an opportunity for growth, for discovery, for transformation. And in the end, isn't that what life is all about? Let's take a stroll down memory lane to a time when the world experienced the Great Depression. From the late 20s to the early 30s, the globe grappled with a severe economic downturn. It was a time of soaring unemployment, rampant poverty, and drastic changes in lifestyle that left no one unaffected. The causes? An amalgamation of factors, including stock market crashes, bank failures, and drought conditions. The impact was profound, touching every corner of society. Families tightened their belts, not out of choice but necessity, luxuries were forsaken, and even necessities became luxuries for some. Governments worldwide were caught in a difficult balancing act trying to stimulate economies while managing spending. It was a hard lesson but an essential one on how economic depression can alter the course of history and more importantly people's lives. History, as they say, is the greatest teacher. The Great Depression serves as a stark reminder of the havoc economic depression can wreak. As we venture into the eye of the economic storm, it's essential to remember we have the power to navigate through it. Economic depression, while seemingly a gargantuan foe, is not invincible. It's a complex puzzle rooted in a multitude of factors from consumption patterns to government spending priorities Yet it's these very complexities that offer us avenues to adapt, to change, to survive. Throughout history, we've seen families alter their lifestyles, governments shift their agendas, and individuals make tough decisions, all in response to the economic climate. We've witnessed migrations from areas of depression and seen the resilience of those who weather these storms. 
In essence, economic depression isn't just about financial hardship, it's about the human spirit, our ability to adapt, to persist, and to emerge stronger. Remember, knowledge is power. By understanding economic depression, we can better weather the storm and emerge stronger on the other side.